In this training video, we'll take a look at how to create custom templates on the 2250 and 2270 sound level meters and how to save them so they can be used on another meter. If we take a look at the main menu in the Template Explorer, we can see we have a large number of different templates already on the meter. The templates contain predefined settings for the different applications on the meter. The template I have open is called Frequency Analyzer. By default, it's using a third octave bandwidth and displaying the LAEQ parameter, as well as the start time under the Spectrum tab. Under the Broadband tab, by default, we see the LAEQ, the LC Peak, the LAF90, and the LAF Max. And in the XL view, the LAEQ is displayed. The transducer setup is saved in the template as well. If I go to the main menu and go to Setup, we can see under the Input section that the template is set up to use this 4189 microphone connected to the top socket in a free field. If I was frequently making a measurement with another transducer, such as a low noise microphone or accelerometer, I could select that transducer and save the template with that transducer already selected. If we were making a measurement in a reverberation chamber, for example, or a diffuse field, we could select that correction as well. For this example, I'll set up a measurement for a diffuse field using a Z or zero frequency weighting. If I go to the frequency settings, we can look at the frequency weightings for the measurement. The broadband RMS weightings are A and C by default, and they will allow us to look at A and C weighted results for the measurement. For this measurement, I want to look at Z-weighted results, so I will select A and Z. The peak weighting can be different than our broadband RMS weighting, and by default, the C weighting is used. For this measurement, I'll select Z weighting for the broadband peak weighting as well. When I close the setup window, we can now select different parameters for the measurement. For example, instead of LAEQ, I can now pick LZEQ, whereas before we could only select LA and LC EQs. Under the Broadband tab, I'll select the LZEQ again. I'll keep the LZ peak, and I'll select the LZF max and LZF min, which are the maximum and minimum for the L zero frequency weighted fast time weighting results. For the Spectrum tab, I'll look at the LZ EQ as well. Now we've set up a template to use the Z frequency weighting, as well as the diffuse field correction, as we can see at the top right, where the sound source is coming towards the microphone in all directions. We've also set up to display the LZ parameters we would like to look at in the Spectrum, Broadband, and XL view tabs. Now that we've made some changes to the template, Notice that there is an asterisk next to the template name. This indicates that a change has been made to the template, but the template hasn't yet been saved. If we want to save the changes to the template, we need to either overwrite the current template that we're using, or create a new one. To do so, we go to the main menu, and to the Template Explorer, and either select the Save icon to save our changes as the template called Frequency Analyzer, or we can create a new one by pushing the Create New icon. I'll create a new one, and I'll call the new template Frequency Analyzer ZEQ Diff for Diffuse Field. Now notice that the template name at the top of the screen has changed. If we look at the list of templates under the Template Explorer, our new template will now appear in the list. Now, anytime we load this template, our transducer settings will be recalled, as well as our frequency settings and our displayed parameters.
If we'd like to transfer this template to another meter, we first have to make and save a measurement using the template. We'll then download the measurement to BZ5503 so that it can be uploaded, along with the template, to a new meter. Next, let's take a look at how we do that in Measurement Partner Suite. I have my meter connected to BZ5503, and I'll download the measurement to an archive. Once the measurement is saved to an archive, we can then hook up a new meter to BZ5503 and upload that save measurement to the new meter. Let's do that next. I now have a new meter hooked up to my computer in BZ5503. We can send our save measurement to the new meter so we can transfer and save the custom template to the new meter. I can do that by right-clicking on the measurement and selecting To Instrument. Now that the measurement is on the new meter, I can open it on the meter and save the template. Let's switch over to the display on the new meter. Now that we're looking at the new meter, let's go to the measurement that we saved to it and open it by going to the File Explorer and selecting Open. The measurement contains all of the settings that we had on the template. That includes the parameters we have displayed on each tab, what frequency weightings we were using, as well as the diffuse field correction we had set up for the microphone. If we reset the measurement so we're ready to take another measurement, notice that the template name now has an asterisk next to it because it hasn't yet been saved on this meter. If we go to the Template Explorer, we can now save that template. Notice that once we save the template, the asterisk next to the template name is gone. If we go to the Template Explorer, we can see that the new template is now at the bottom of the list. Now we can hand this second meter off to a colleague and they can make the same exact measurement that we were making before without needing to set it up themselves.